What's up everybody, MK99 here and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be me just quickly going over what's been going on in the Borderlands community. Now I haven't been active because I've been trying to find as much information as I can on this topic and honestly, it I don't know, I heard a lot of rumors, I've been talking to some, uh, some Gearbox employees that I have uh, a little contacts with and they i've been hearing different things from everyone so i don't know exactly what's going on so i'm just gonna that's why i haven't made a video in six days i've been talking to them frequently about this if you guys don't know borderlands oh hold up my control is messing up but borderlands 2 uh if you guys don't know has been has gotten a secret rarity added into the game known as rainbow rarity you might have seen on some borderlands youtubers has some guns because they went and uh, got the files out of the game and then brought them in or whatever i don't know exactly how they did it i should learn but you know i'm stupid but anyway so this gun these guns are like a rainbow rarity so like say i'm looking at this it will like keep changing the rarity of the name it will keep going through every color like it will go from red, red blue green like it will go through the colors which is pretty sick but no one knows how to get it. So I asked my gear, I asked uh, my my uh, informant, whatever, my the gearbox employee, like, yo, what's going on with this? He said there is a possibility of a DLC coming for Borderlands 2. Now, when I heard that, I was like, whoa, what? Borderlands 2 DLC. I know I'm a little late, and everyone probably knows already, but I'm just giving you the all the information that I know. So he told me that it's going to be coming out around, it would come out around E3. When they reveal it, they'll be like, it's out, apparently. That's what they're going to say, or they're going to push it back a little, just to further so you could play it and then get ready for Borderlands 3. I'm not sure, but all I know is it's called Commander. I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure he said that it's going to be called Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary. Now, if that's true, if you just by thinking about it, Commander Lilith, we know that Lilith is a commander now, so she'll obviously be the one over here giving out and trying to help out Sanctuary. So something's going to happen to this Sanctuary, that, that's why they're going to have Sanctuary 2 or 3. So we're going to have a new Sanctuary in the game probably. So, ooh, Moxie's good touch. We're going to have probably have a new Sanctuary in the game considering the fact that we're gonna that we're fighting for sanctuary, so I'm gonna think that this place is going to like get destroyed. That's just my opinion. But honestly, what we do know though, we know that Lilith was a, a playable vault, vault hunter in the past. But if you guys watch the Borderlands 3 trailer, you'd see that she does not have her tattoos on one scene. So maybe this is gonna tie up that loose end of why she doesn't have her tattoos. Maybe she got them taken away by the Calypso uh, twins. We don't know exactly what's going on, but honestly, it. it it just seems like an early, like an early representation of how the children of the vault come to be and what they did to become such a formidable foe in Borderlands 3. That's how I feel because we will be going to Sanctuary 3, the ship that will be taking us for all the planets around the Borderlands universe or whatever it's called, <laughs> around Pandora and everything, um, Promethea. So something's gonna happen to this sanctuary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna presume, and. It's going to be sick. And we don't know what Sanctuary 2 is. If I had to say, I'd say New Haven was Sanctuary 1. And then this is Sanctuary 2. Considering the fact that it was the only place in Borderlands 1 that was full on Sanctuary. And that all the characters were able to meet there if they really wanted to. And everything. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. But he did say that it with this Borderlands, if it does come out and whatever. With the 90% chance that he said it will. That it's going to tie into Borderlands 3 completely. It's going to make Borderlands 3 so much easier for the storyline to commence. And honestly, I'm just very excited for it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a free DLC or paid. He never disclosed that information to me. As well as, all I know is, once this comes out, just keep on the lookout for E3 or Borderlands or Gearbox or anyone's at E3. It might release during E3 week, and honestly, it's going to be sick as hell. So, yeah, and it should introduce the Rainbow Rarity. So, 
<laughs> stay a lookout for that. And I will be making modded weapons with that rainbow rarity when it comes out. If they make a new uh, new weapon set and everything. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in six days. I'm going to be back on the thing. I just had a lot of things to do. And I was trying to find information for this video for Mad Long. Because I didn't want to give you guys a modded weapon video before giving you guys this information. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.